Have you or your instructor read over the directions for a dissection? Do you have proper lab attire on? Alrighty, let's get started. Today we will be looking at a sheep brain. We'll start by looking at the brain from the superior view. Here, you can see anterior, posterior, and lateral of the brain. Notice the milky layer covering the entire brain. This is the outermost meninge called the dura mater. You can see it's very durable. It's a skin-like layer used as protection for the brain. We'll need to remove it using scissors, or if scissors aren't working, you can use a scalpel. Be careful with the scalpel to not cut too deep into the brain. As you are removing the dura mater from the cerebrum, you'll want to keep the cerebellum covered with the dura mater. As we have this cerebrum completely exposed, we can see the frontal lobe anteriorly, parietal lobes superiorly, the temporal lobes located on the lateral sides of the brain, and lastly, the occipital lobes located in the posterior side. Next, we'll need to remove the dura mater from the cerebellum. You can do this again by using scissors or scalpel. Once we've located all of the features on the external side, we'll need to go inside. We're going to be cutting along the longitudinal fissure in the superior view of the cerebrum using a scalpel. We're making a sagittal incision as seen here. We'll continue our cut through the cerebellum again using our scalpel making a sagittal incision. As we walk through the internal structures, follow the pointer. On the inferior side of the brain, we have the olfactory bulb seen here. Looking medially into the brain, we have the corpus callosum, which leads down into the fornix. In between those two structures, you have the lateral ventricle. Here we have the choroid plexus found within the ventricle. Below that, we have the thalamus, which leads into the hypothalamus, and then, inferiorly, you have the pituitary gland. Here, we can identify the parts of the brainstem. First, we have midbrain, then the pons, and then the medulla oblongata, found under the cerebellum. In between the cerebellum and the brainstem is the fourth ventricle. The white structures branching throughout the cerebellum are called arbor vitae. Looking back towards the thalamus, you can see posterior from the thalamus is the pineal or pineal gland. Below the hypothalamus, you have the optic chiasm. The optic chiasm is where the optic nerve will branch out. And that's your brain dissection. Pause for labeling. 